Okay, okay, okay. Very quick ISO, 3.5x. I heard you limp, every single button. What else is limp? Maybe your cock. Okay. So the 3.5x ISO can definitely be like ace king suit, ace queen suit, ace check suit, ace ten suit, stuff like that. I suspect it's not too often aces kings. I think they might go smaller trying to keep the recreational in. Could definitely be like tens, nines, eights as well. You'd expect range C bits on this board, uh, even from bluffs, in, which it could be, right? Not a lot behind, so um, we have to be prepared to face snap jam. Yeah, it, like, feels very ace king, ace queen, uh, weighted. Do we have the right price against ace king? Possibly, right? Kings, okay. That is also ace king, <laughs> weighted. I didn't think it was kings. Uh, guy, guys are a lot more, um, yeah. I guess they just have a threshold and they just got broke. I'm always really cautious. I'm always like, oh, a bit worried. I'm like, ah, oh, am I getting called by worse enough? And da 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 da. Maybe guys are a bit more relaxed here. <laughs> I'm like hypertense about all my thresholds of going broke. Um, welcome to Texas Tomo plays bad poker uh, once again. It can happen. That's one of the fun things about, you know, fun things. It's one of the dynamic things about uh, button limping. Sometimes you just do some dumb things and that's okay. Major look, 82 from UK. Climb boulders from Austria. Good luck, good luck. Isaac says, uh, I complete my weekly challenge on stars. It seemed like a punt to play lots of volume about that extra 40% rake back. So I gave myself a break to Sunday. That seems very sensible, yes. Spot on, mate. Do we have the right price against Kings there? 6.5 to win a pot of like 30. What, we need like 24%, 25%, something like that? Mm, no, a bit less. 23%, 22%. And we have two, five, nine outs, 18%. Not quite, not quite. Not miles away though. Um, so. Okay. 25, 21 BB deeps in a flash is rare. Let's play a 20 BB plus pot. I'm going to limp base 10 because I'm so excited to just play the, the post flop. He's ice with 100% of range so far. Uh, two or two hands. So. Oof, 5x jacks. That's not great for us. Not great for us. GG, I guess we'll try again as the uh, world's worst spin and go player continues his descent down the stakes. <laughs> Let's see what Sydney and Macrich want to get up to. Big, 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 long, 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 think about, and then 6BB is an interesting max tank. Um, I got Macridge wrong a couple of times. I'm just going to, uh, in terms of like my reads wrong. So we just want to be slightly aware that uh, to uh, not over, what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I mean. Don't be so set. Okay, 9 2 off, not so good. Mr. Sydney's going to win. Jam in the kingdom. Okay. Well, we got our chips in ahead. Uh, which has been a rare experience today. So we'll take that where we can. And Ace Queen, also a good hand. Against Ace A. That's a good spot to be in if we can fa uh, dodge an 8. Jam the 8 6. All right. Club. 7. No. Uh, GG again. This is why you have good bank... Oh, this is, is actually a really good coaching point. It's a good idea to have good bankroll management. This guy's a PSPC winner. Coach. Good luck, mate. Uh, because, yeah, we've made a couple of punty calls, but I don't think we played that bad. Um, but losing runs can definitely happen. And it's typically recommended to have, you know, more than <laughs> uh, 10 buy-ins. Thank you very much for the follow, Tommy Katz. 
Uh, Jandro says, this is going to be useful for rookies to see that even a top reg can lose every spin in a row. Oh, uh, top regs lose every spin in a row. Mid regs lose every spin in a row. Bad regs like Texas Tomo can lose every spin in a row. It happens. Breebot says, I thought you said you want a 10x for 2K before firing up the stream. Wouldn't that put your bankroll higher? Yes, uh, but my bankroll is actually separate to the bankroll challenge. You are right. Uh, but why are, <laughs> this is this is the um, this is the first world problems I have. I was annoyed I won the two the twenty x um, because uh, it was off stream and it would have been great to go in the background manage uh, to go in the background challenge. So I'm like, oh, why don't the money off stream? Ooh. Sad times. <laughs> All right. This guy, I so jammed Quinton off, so I guess he doesn't know straight. An interesting coach. Wonder who's coached him. We want Mill. We want Mill indeed. Mr. Jason, Mr. Babalakas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by Team 651 Royalty. Isaac, sharp as anything, by the way. Look, I didn't even know he had that command. So we know he's been uh, uh, quite ISO jam happy, and I didn't think he was. Uh, we haven't seen him on the flop too often. But. Um, if he's quite mergy, especially with those ISO jams, it suggests that his check range is going to be actually filtered down to weaker strategy, and then the uh, adjustments will probably be like getting to bluff a bit more uh, in spots. Now, if he's check jamming lots, we're obviously not going to bluff uh, equity hands. We're going to be a bit more. We're going to be very polar, basically, when we, when we bet flop. So we have hands we're calling off with, and then we have hands we're not. Uh, this is close to 10 8, but I think given he's jamming seemingly every hand, uh, I'm okay. I'm going to just take King 3 off, like just take an ash shove. Uh, even though it's kind of probably could do something else. We're going to call King-9 if he shoves. We're going to jam King-9, I guess, if he min raises. A little terrified of this, by the way. But he's been going absolutely wild and kind of ballistic. So I guess shoving King-9. Okay, oh my God, min raise fault. Mr. Jung says, how often are you playing outside the challenge? The challenge is only for Twitch. So any player I do out of Twitch is just separate. So if you catch me on my table and it's a Saturday evening... That's not bankroll challenge games. Uh, my bankroll challenge games are only on Twitch, right? So you get to see every game we play in the bankroll challenge. Hence why it takes so long as well. Because, you know, we've played something like 600 games to 17XR bankroll. And um, every one of them has been live, obviously. I think it's kind of cool, right? To have every game and not just like... Yeah. Uh, we didn't win that one either. Okay. Okay. But I feel like the decisions are getting better, at least. When did this challenge start? It started uh, last October or November. That's a loud motorbike, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna shut my window. Get the get the triple glaze working. Clark Kent from Poland. Yep, Bob and Lego. Now we could go for a sort of min delay. It's kind of tough to to uh, fight tons against this and we're kind of just betting because we think over the best hand which i suspect we did i mean we obviously did but yeah should we try a limp on the button i heard you limp every single button what else is limp maybe your car okay tank 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 4x iso kind of a big iso huh it's really interesting to see how people respond uh so i'm definitely you know, it's lovely to kind of build a sample up and see what kind of uh, adjustments we face long term. It's also, I like it because it's it's off off piece. So it's like guys have to kind of think for themselves. And there's some guys who think really well for themselves. And there's other guys who maybe are a bit more, um, don't know what to do. And they sort of freeze when they see unidentified stuff. And so that's kind of fun. Uh, how often is that as a pro? How many hours you play a week? Uh, varies a lot. So the challenge i do loads of coaching right so i do probably with coaching and twitch and things i do like 100 hours of coaching on twitch and messages and all sorts of stuff a month and then playing time on top of that i don't know probably like 50 hours maybe or something like that um of which obviously a bunch of those are on twitch so Jax is a good hand Okay, we get cool. I think we'll just go for a normal C bit here. King comes. 
Not too concerned about the king here. Um, jam is definitely an option. I think I'm just going to take a jam. Not really kinks in either range. Mm. I want to make sure I get called by this. 7 and 8 next. We could go for a smaller sizing as well. We could check. Could we check? I don't know. We kind of block the folds, weirdly enough. Like the Jack 9, Jack 10 kind of hands. Really all calling pre-flop. Especially the offsuit stuff. All calling flop as well. Um, but I don't know. Vac likes this song. I like you, Vac. So thank you, mate. And Bobby Wing is in the house. Because Grinders. Grinders. It's your boy, it's your boy. Bobby, I was really excited to celebrate as we said, look, Bobby, we've won a, we've won a, thanks to you, Bobby, we've won our first 3x of the evening. No, didn't work, did it? Will the losing run continue? Maybe not. Okay. Good. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to start picking up, huh? We could start picking up. Be kind of fun. Jack two off. Mm. Snap shove. Mm. Do we want to adjust? Mm. What's his V? Let's... I make a little bit of a. Okay, Jack or five. Come on. Uh... Well, still a chance to. It's a good flop. Still a chance for the comeback, huh? How are you, Bobby? Bobby, now, if anyone's currently unaware of who Bobby is, um, Bobby is a, a fantastic uh, poker player slash YouTuber slash pool designer. So if you'd like a swimming pool in the Ont Ontario region uh, of Canada, why not give your boy Bobby Winger a call? And he'll probably say, nah, I'm too busy, mate. I'm too busy. I'm, I've got um, tournaments to win. Actually, tournaments to come second in. It seems like he comes second in all tournaments. <laughs> I've got spins to grind. I've got bankrupt challenges to do. And you say, well, Bobby, I'll pay you I'll pay you $100,000. And I'll say, already made it this year, mate. Already made it. Although he hasn't actually yet. He's only got 25k to go or something. But he's turned something like, was it 20, 20k at the start of the year, Bobby? Imagine my bankrupt challenge. But imagine it is actually for legitimate money. And is a proper bankroll. Imagine it's just a better version in every aspect of what we're doing on this Twitch. That's Bobby Winger's YouTube channel. Uh, so give him a follow. Um, handsome fella. He added his face about a year ago to the YouTube videos. Um, and I think he's probably had a big uptick in the ladies watching him. We, Bobby, I don't know if you want to compare YouTube analytics. Who has a larger female demographic? Uh, me or Bobby will be the question. Now we have 0.7%. So Bobby, if you can go into your analytics, this is a good result. Cool, please. This is a good result. Um, Bobby, if you can go into your anal analytics, do you have a greater than 0.7% female viewer? Can we do a poll, please, Isaac? Who has the higher viewership of the ladies? Me or Bobby? That's what we want to see. That's what the fans want to know. All right, little little bet here. I quite like having spent a bunch of time working on stuff. A little bet check. Probably not this turn though, because this turn is just so fantastically unbelievable for our range. Um, but bet checking is really is an interesting line. Let's go for the three BB. Maybe smaller. I don't know. No more pools. Trying to get out of pools. It's like in The Sims. Bobby's actually in the swim pool right now, desperately just swimming around, trying to get out. Can someone please give him a hand? Because he's stuck. Only pool Bobby's trying to get in these days is the fish pool. Hey, we got a win. See, I think I got rewarded for the pun. Our first win, ladies and gentlemen, in a long time.